new season of NFL football is here and we're off in 2023 on EA Sports and no run back on this one so the new season will begin at the 25 yard line so out comes this offense to take over for the first time they'll be led out by a man who took that huge jump everyone had hoped for in year two one of the game's brightest young stars and that's Trevor Lawrence and you want to talk about enormous expectations being placed on a quarterback. How about what Trevor Lawrence faced coming out of college? But the good thing for him, he's used to it. He had the same type of expectations as in high school and going to Clemson. They always expect him to be a franchise savior whatever team he joins. And to his credit, he shouldered those expectations and he's doing everything in his power to follow through. A man coming off an 1,100-yard campaign last year. Here's Travis Etienne. And he showed off the athletic juke. Good little gain there. Not a whole lot of real estate, but a nice carry. Ten yards on the pickup. It's second and inches at the 47-yard line. Another tote for Etienne. And he'll get it into enemy territory just across midfield at the 49. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. It's a gain of three. First down, Looking to throw, Lawrence. A short throw to Ingram. So no gain on the play, and it's second down. Here's Lawrence. He'll get this one complete to Zane Jones. And past the 35, he'll be dropped a yard or two shy of the 30. It's a pickup of 17 and a first down. To win any route, you've got to break down the defender. And that's exactly what happened here on this really nicely executed curl route. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Here's Lawrence to throw. He'll get this out to the flat for ETN. So the completion gets him just a yard, and it'll be second down. One yard gain brings up second and nine at the 30 yard line. Throwing again here, it's Lawrence. ETN bringing in another one. And he'll be out of bounds as he gets this down about the 21 or 22. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. Now Lawrence. Now a quick throw there, but it's going to be incomplete. Well, a momentary speed bump there with that throw, partner. The defense had other ideas, and they're trying to mount a small stand before this drive reaches the end zone. They'll send Kirk in motion right. They'll fake it on the jet sweep, and instead, a handoff up the middle. And he'll be taken down at the 20 after a gain of just one. And now it looks like we're going to get a timeout here. We've got a man shaking up. Well, just the last thing you want to see here in the first quarter of a new season. Hopefully nothing serious. We'll step aside for a moment. On third down, Lawrence toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Nice job there forcing that incompletion. This is going to be a fun battle throughout this game. Watching him try to take away that area of the field. The kick by McManus is good. Well, all offseason, probably a lot of thought goes into that first drive of week one. They didn't get the touchdown, but at least they got something. And what I like about it is that they didn't overthink it because you're exactly right. A lot goes into the offseason, the preseason, to get to that first drive of the regular season. They went right downfield, mission accomplished, points on the board. And good coverage there on special teams as they'll get him down shy of the 20. So now we'll get a look at the other offensive unit as they come out for their first possession. And they'll be led out by an exciting athlete, fourth overall pick of the draft out of Florida, Anthony Richardson. I tell you what, when he is on schedule for that week, secondaries take notice because you've got to stay alert back there on every snap. A truly powerful arm, one that's capable of challenging any level of the defense on any given play. 
That's why so many scouts preach arm talent when preparing for the NFL draft. A quarterback with arm strength to make every throw in the book, he's an asset to have in any offense. Line of scrimmage, the 28 now as they come up on second and a couple. They run with the All-Pro from a couple of years ago, Jonathan Taylor. And this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage back at the 22. It goes as a loss of six. And now third down. So seven yards from the first down here as they come up to the line of scrimmage. On third down, here's Richardson. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before they reach the 50. That's good for 28 yards. A nice completion there for the first down. And Charles, you think about the quarterbacks of recent vintage that have been thrust into action week one. It's no guarantee of future success, but we sure have seen some good ones. We certainly have, partner. How about Joe Burrow with the Bengals in 2020? He was excellent. Kyler Murray with the Cardinals. The best part about his game has his team right on the brink of the playoffs. And Deshaun Watson has won division titles after having started from day one. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Looking at a second and 11 now after the loss. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. And this will be swung out wide for Taylor. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. 12 yards there and a first down. Richardson. That's to the tight end, Mallory. That'll give him eight that time, and it'll be second in a couple. Well, what an exciting time here in this great city. Of course, it's no stranger to big-time sports. They've had the NBA team here, but now a relocation franchise in the NFL. And these fans, they could not be more excited for what it's going to mean for this city. But it's just going to be a great source of civic pride here. Seven yards there and a first down. And Richardson yet again. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. And no matter what the situation, the O-line just hates that because they feel like they didn't protect little brother back there, right? Man, that's just so difficult for them because just think about every single play. When you decide to throw the football, you're dealing with some of the best athletes on the planet. You talk about guys, if they weren't playing football, they'd be starring in the NBA at power forward. It's really a difficult task. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And incomplete. He had nowhere to throw, so he just tossed it away. But that brings up fourth. Smart move to throw that one away. You're in field goal range, so you definitely don't want to be loose with the ball. And that's great work by this defense to force a fourth down. Gay's kick is good, and that will tie us at 3-3. So a return of serve, so to speak, here on the second drive of our game as they respond to that opening field goal with three of their own. I like that. Go a little tennis on uh, I know you. You like to mix it up I with like sports. They, yeah. crack, they crack a forehand back at him. They get a backhand. What was the, serve? It, what was the return it, on? It was a backhand. I like a that really one. good backhand. With some nice top spin on the a little bit. bit. A little I bit. love it. Almost a mirror image when you really get down to it. I thought that was pretty good stuff. Back onto the field comes this offense ready for their second drive. They finished off their opening drive of the campaign with a field goal on the last drive. Now they'll search for a touchdown here on this go around. First and ten. Oh, he was hit as he threw it there, and that one winds up incomplete. Second and ten. A run here with Dearness Johnson. And running room scarce here. He's going to be stopped in his tracks at the line of scrimmage. Still needing 10 yards. Now it's third down. Now Lawrence to throw. That is caught. And he'll be corralled right around the 34. First catch of the new season for him, and he picks up the first. Well, we always hear about the connections some quarterbacks have with certain receivers. 
I think this guy has a connection with just about everyone. Didn't mind throwing it in there against double coverage to him. Shows some confidence, supreme confidence. Big time confidence that he would make the play for him, and he did. A first down carry here for Johnson. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. DeForest Buckner using that size to force his way in there and make the stop behind the line. Sometimes I think these defensive tackles get a little bit of a bum rap. We just see them as big guys that eat up blockers for others to make tackles. Oftentimes they're quicker than they get credit for. And this time he uses quickness to make a play. Now a screen set up for Johnson. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. 19 yards to pick up there. Move the chains. We can talk all we want about football being a game of strength and brawn. It's also a game of mismatches, and they're trying to create one there, getting it to their back out of the backfield to make a bigger play. As we often say, get it to him in space, let him use his leg. Yeah, if, if he can get a matchup against a linebacker or maybe a defensive end dropping out in a zone blitz, he's going to win that battle just about every time. On second down, Lawrence. His throw incomplete. How about that? Red man coverage and decided to test them early. But they proved up to the task to force the incompletion. From the gun, it's Lawrence. And a catch made by his tight end, Luke Farrell. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. It'll be a gain of six that time as it moves the chains as well. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Many different ways to create space, but on that play, he did it with that big, wide body of his. Didn't get a whole lot of yardage on the play, but it did what it was supposed to. Pick up a first down. The result, only four yards there on the play. And that's going to bring up second down. 3-3, a tight one after one on EA Sports. Ready for the second quarter, and it's our visitors with the football. From the 35, here's second and six. As they've got it as we resume action. Lawrence on target there to Ingram. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. 17 yards is the pickup there for number 17. He's certainly done a nice job spreading the field on this drive, and here he finds his big tight end for good yardage. And that's what you have to do. Keep defenses guessing about where you're going to go with the football. A first red zone opportunity of the new year here as they come up now first and 10. Up the middle, Johnson. He'll get forward for three down to the 16-yard line. Well, they certainly had success throwing the ball on this drive and not as much running it as we just saw once again on that last play, stopped after a very short gain. But I wouldn't abandon the run totally because otherwise, pass rushers just tee off on your quarterback it makes it very, very difficult for them in that situation. It's an eight-yard pickup, and it leads to a first and goal. A chance for a first touchdown drive of the year. It's first and goal. And the tight end is certainly a position built to move the chains because they can control space underneath. If they've got good hands, then, of course, they're a dynamic target. But one other thing is they're right in the sight lines of a quarterback on just about every play, and that makes it easier for the quarterback to pick him out and deliver. So they get pushed back to the 11, and here's second and goal. Lawrence will throw. Throwing quickly there, but it's incomplete. Not sure what happened out there, but it looked like the timing was a little off on that throw. Well, you know I'm a defender, so what am I going to say? Great defense. And darn right, they did something to disrupt that timing. And now the third down throw incomplete as well. Well, so a drive he spans all that time, and yet you may only come away with three points here. Well, your defense, all right, they actually like these long drives. They get to rest over on the sidelines for a while, but when you're not finishing with points in terms of touchdowns, that's frustrating. They've got to figure out how to close out these long drives and get sixes instead of threes. So we're trading first-half field goals. No breakthrough on the touchdown front. We've got a 6-3 game. Yeah, and I know so many people look at a game through offensive eyes, right? They want to see how the game's played that way. You know how I'm going to view it, right? The defenses, to me, have responded well in this game. Like what I'm seeing from them, both of them hoping to keep it to field goals and not give up big touchdowns. Back onto the field comes this offense, ready for their second drive. And last time, able to get three. 
It's not what they wanted. They wanted six, but they got at least something. They mustered something out of the drive. They'll take it. Just, I, I like the way you, you've described it. Not ideal, but they'll take it. Anything to put some points on the board. But this time on offense, they don't even want to see the field goal kicker trot on the field. They want that ball in the end zone. Yeah, they'll be going for six. Richardson looking to throw this. This will be taken in by Michael Pittman. And he'll get this up to the 34-yard line. Pittman's first catch, good for a first down. Up the middle, here's Taylor. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. Line of scrimmage, the 36 on second and eight. Back to throw, here's Richardson. That's caught by his tight end, Kylan Branson. And he'll be out of bounds up near the 45 at the 44. A pair of first downs gives him a first and 10 up at the 44. First and 10 at the 44 yard line. Running straight ahead, Taylor. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. It's a pickup of three. Brings up second and seven. There, Richardson back to throw it. Throw out right, pulled in by Downs. And he's brought down. Rookie to rookie on the hook up there, and it's a first down. Now Richardson. A short throw pulled in by Woods. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. Now a second and six. Here's Richardson to throw. And this taken in by Downs. And down to the 20 he'll go before heading out of bounds. The catch and run good for 18 and a first down. Another completion there. And we think back to the draft in the spring. This franchise essentially handing him the keys to the operation. A top five pick. Charles, how ready do you think he is? I think he's ready for the NFL in terms of size, speed, the makeup of him, the character of him. The key is going to be, will this team accept everything he brings to the game and adapt to it, not just necessarily plug him into something that he doesn't do well. But now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. After the incompletion, here's second and 10 from the 20. And Richardson looks to throw once more. And this one taken in on the right sideline, but not in the field of play. They say it's incomplete. The throw led him a little too far. It brings up third down. Richardson shotgun on third down. And they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. Good coverage downfield led to him taking off, picking up the first down on a 13-yard run. As we both know, there's a lot that went into why they made him their first-round pick this year. Part of it was what they saw in college, his playmaking ability when things break down. As soon as he saw he wasn't getting a lane to throw, he pivoted and found an alternate way to the marker. That's going to wind up a loss of a full three yards on first down. Bear in mind, that wasn't a big lineman back there for the tackle for loss. That was a cornerback. So are you saying the myth has been shattered? that all of them are not just cover corners. Some of them actually will stick their nose in and tackle when necessary. That's what we just saw, isn't it? And here he'll get it down to the seven. It'll be a gain of four, but it'll bring us now to a third and goal. It's now third and goal. Richardson looking to throw. And he's going to go down. Sack back at the 13-yard line. A tough time to take the sack. Now it's fourth and goal, and that's a loss of six. Matt Gay on fourth field goal. A 30-yard attempt. And Gay knocks this one through, and that will tie things up at 6-6. Six -six. They had it first and goal, three attempts, couldn't get it in, so they settled for three. Yeah, the field tends to shrink a little bit the closer you get to the goal line, doesn't it? It doesn't sound right. It sounds a little counterintuitive. 
but you run out of space to run the deep routes. So they can just sit on the shorter stuff if you're going to throw it. If you want to run it, there's just not as much space. They end up having to take three there. Austin's offense ready to go again. And last time they got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. And when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense not too happy. It's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're none too pleased that they didn't punch it in for six points. But they also have to remember, they did put points on yeah, the board. Three points and, is three points. And in this league, <laughs> you take points when you can get them. Not easily done. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Here's second and ten. Here's Lawrence to throw. Open man right side is Ingram. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. Fifth catch of the afternoon, and that gives him a first down. Now Lawrence. He finds his man, Johnson. And he'll be tackled right on the chalk of the 45. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time, and another first down. Throwing again here, it's Lawrence. A short throw there to Strange. And down he goes at the 49, a three-yard pickup. Here's second and seven. From the shotgun, Lawrence, quick slant caught by Kirk. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. Oh, that was a nice job there. Quarterback and receiver reading the pressure that was brought. They both knew it was going to open up the middle of the field. Nice little shake and bake at the line of scrimmage. Got right into his route, and the quarterback hit him in stride, and he was able to run free after the catch. Caught on the right side by Jones. Second quarter, two minutes to go. Tie ball game. We remind you that coming up in two minutes, we'll again head down to visit with Jonathan Coachman at Orlando back for another year. He'll have scores from around the NFL here on this opening weekend. Meanwhile, Lawrence's throw here into the hands of Jones. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. Now Lawrence. Under pressure, and he will go down. Sack back at the 38. In on the sack, the former Buckeye, Tyquan Lewis. Well, this offense has already been forced to settle for field goals on their drives earlier, so this is not a welcome sign here. Indeed, it is not, and they certainly hope it's not a sign for the entire game because they know they've got to be able to sustain drives all the way through, pick up those guys rushing the quarterback, and give himself a chance. Here's Lawrence. A short throw to Ingram. Now the offense going to use the first of their timeouts as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. Now throwing on third down there, but he cannot connect. So many times we've seen him trying to escape the pocket and do something with his legs, but in this case, the pressure was too intense and he made the wise choice to just get rid of the football and make sure no one was going to get it. The kick by McManus is good. And they take the lead here as it's now 9-6. So they're able to end that drive with three points in this one possession ball game. And ideally, you want to end every drive with points. Most quarterbacks would tell you, let's end it with a kick, right? A PAT, that's number one. Field goal you'll take. Punts, you really don't want to do that. In this case, they'll take the field goal and get prepared for the rest of the game. Back out comes this offense now late in this first half. With his slim deficit closing in on the end of the first half, we'll see if they can move this at least into field goal range and try to get three out of this drive. On first down, Richardson. And he slings one that's incomplete. Had an open man that time, but ended up putting a little too much heat on it, don't you think, partner? Absolutely, just needed a touch more air under it. Instead, he fired an absolute bullet. And he'll wind up loose. 
losing yardage here back at the 21-yard line. Now a second timeout called for by the defense as the clock will stop with 34 seconds to go before halftime. And he's not going to sniff the first down here. He stopped at the 25. Now the defense will burn their third and final timeout. And with halftime on the horizon, they'll be out of timeouts from here forward. Dances by him. One final go for this offense here in this first half. And they do have terrific starting field position, but no timeouts to work with, so they'll need to operate quickly. Good starting field position for them here as they come up first and 10 at their 38. Now Lawrence to throw. And that is incomplete. Down to 15 seconds now. And I can see the officials kind of looking at each other down there, silently wondering, does this meet the level of grounding? Fortunately, he did have a receiver in the area, but I have seen less obvious throwaways call this penalties. Nifty running there, but it'll come on what should be the final play of half number one. So we've reached halftime here on opening weekend. As we'll get you over to Orlando, where standing by is Jonathan Coachman. He has our EA Sports halftime report. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. And welcome back to football, everybody. We've got a full slate of 16 games here to start the new season. So let's take our first trip around the NFL. This one's been as good as advertised. Just a field goal separating these two teams. This is a very level first half, and I'd expect to see more of the same after the break. Okay, Coach, yeah, adjustments likely going to play a big role in this third quarter in what's been a tight contest so far. From his end zone, Isaiah McKenzie. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. For this offense ready to go to begin this third quarter. Charles, it'll be interesting to see what adjustments this offense made in the locker room. Haven't really been able to get anything going offensively. Virtually nothing in the ground attack either. So certainly something has to change here in quarter three. And I'm pretty sure their friends from the defensive side of the ball told them exactly that because those guys, the stop troops, they've been playing pretty well. They've kept them around in this game. Now they got some time. The running game struggled in the first half. Opposition knows how to focus on defending the pass here. They've got to re-energize that ground game and maybe open things up for a comeback here in this half. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. It's now third down and four. Now it's Richardson. That one finds Pierce right side. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. But just four yards on the pickup, but that's good enough to extend the drive. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. They give to Taylor out of the gun. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. I have to think a major focus at a halftime means had to be figured out how to create space for the running game to get operating. Well, what you pointed out to me at half seems accurate. That line has struggled to sustain blocks. Yeah, I would agree with that totally. They've got to focus on staying on their double teams at the first level, make sure that block's secured before they slide off and try and chip someone at the second level. On third down, here's Richardson. Out to the right and complete to Pittman. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. Just his second catch of the game so far. This one moves the chains. A nice throw right there. And these fans getting their first look at their QB one of the future. And I'd imagine it's got to be a big plus for him to get his first start here in front of that home crowd. I know there's a school of thought about getting your first start away from home so you don't have the extra pressure of that crowd behind you. But I say ride the wave, embrace it, go ahead and play to that level, and I think it's going to benefit him in the long run. Two yards to go, second down. They run once more with Taylor. And he stopped immediately there. 
He got maybe a half yard at most, but officially they'll be left with a third and two. Play number nine set to come here on the drive on third and two. They'll try and run for this with Moss. He's going to be a yard short. Needed two, but only got one. Fourth down. Well, we talk about defenders, specifically linebackers, keeping their eyes in the right spot. He had that eye down the entire time. And you know that's not easily done because they throw a lot of misdirection at you. They try and fool you and get your eyes in the wrong place. But you're right about that one. He correctly figured that one out and made a really nice play. And that is no good. Oh, he missed it just wide of the upright. And instead of tying it up, they'll remain down by three. I don't care who you are. 60 yards is a very ambitious attempt. Hard to make even in practice in the best of conditions. And now, worst of all, you have the other guys the ball to start their drive at midfield. Now we take a glance at the offense as they work their way back out for their first possession of the second half. And both of these defenses have been stifling these last few drives offensively, just not able to get anything going. So what needs to change? I think a lot of the guys will go back and review, so to speak, because everyone has someone assigned to how did each play work? Okay, what did, what did we use that kind of worked for us during this game? Try and get back to some of those plays, as well as the possibility of showing something you haven't shown already in this game and trying to change things up. We'll see if they take the advice of Mr. Davis. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. On play action, Lawrence. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. Seven catches for him now in this last one, a first down. ETN up the middle, and this has been a familiar sight all afternoon as they stop him behind the line. Two yards the loss, second and 12. This defense is just flat getting after it. They have not given up much of anything in the run game. Case in point right there. Now they contend with a second and 12 after the loss. Lawrence will throw. Throw right side is going to be caught by Kirk. Only able to gain a couple there. And that brings up third and a full 10 yards. They go play action with Lawrence. Rolling to his left. There's a nice move. And he's going to get this inside the 30. Great vision there by Lawrence as he scrambles for a first down. With nowhere to throw it, decided to scramble, and a nice job seat. He got the yardage that he needed. Yeah, and his teammates are certainly going to appreciate that effort, even if his coaches don't, because they would have wanted him to slide and protect himself. But he chose team gain over personal protection. Call it a full three yards in the wrong direction there. Brings up second down. Well, we saw a lot of negative plays that resulted in plenty of lost yardage in the first half. And that trend is continuing here. On second down, a run with ETN. And he is going to lose yardage here. Just a loss of a yard there, but it's not going to help. Now they face a third and 14. To say they've kept him under wraps running the football, that, that's an understatement. He's been completely neutralized. Yeah, they've essentially taken him out of the game, haven't they? And you know all the teams say, we're not going to let him beat us. Well, that's exactly what's happened here. They've lived up to that. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. They converted twice on third down that drive already, but couldn't make it a third. We always talk about in-game adjustments. How about what the defense did there, able to shut him down on that attempt? The kick by McManus is good. And they double their lead, pushing it up now to 12 to 6. So it was a three-point lead at halftime, and they double that with a field goal here. And I think defensively, you've got to be okay with that because you've kept this game within a touchdown. Your hope is that you've inspired your offense to put a drive together, get in the end zone themselves, and hopefully get you the lead. And out a little across the 25 to the 27. The OKC offense ready to set up shop again. 
And the way their last drive ended, boy, it was frustrating. They had a pretty good drive going. It was sustained, and then it stalled out, Charles, and they missed the field goal and got nothing out of it. Is that insult to injury? Because they had such a sustained drive, as you noted. So you know for the head coach, it almost felt like a little bit of failure to send down the field goal unit and then not even see the ball go through the post. What a bummer on that last drive for them. Kind of picked themselves up from that one. Meanwhile, Richardson's throw into the hands of Pittman here. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. That one good for 20 on the catch and run. So on the other side of the field now, it's first and 10 as they've got things rolling on this drive. On the handoff, this is Taylor. Now he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Now that tackle by Trayvon Walker. Nice play. He blows that up behind the line of scrimmage. So the first down run lost a couple. Now they come up second and 12. From the shotgun, Richardson. And he's taken down inside the 30. The escapability in evidence there is that one good for 15 and a first. He's been making himself a weapon as a runner, and the results, they've been welcomed by his offense. My question is about the defense we're watching right now, partner. Even after he got him with a scramble earlier this drive, they still aren't devoting enough attention to him. I would expect that after that carry, they'll do a much better job going forward, spying on him on passing downs. 15 yards last play and 15 yards here this go around. Now what we're seeing, this is much better from this offense because so far in this game, no touchdown to this point. And what's usually a direct correlation? Very few explosive plays. That's been their issue. Not able to make that big shot downfield or break one off, but a nice game there for a first down. And the reinforcements come in as they're going to stop him behind the line. They'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. That was well played there defensively. Two tight ends in the formation, which essentially gave them seven blockers up front. Hard to imagine with all that size and beef that they could let a tackler through, but that's exactly what happened. A loss resulted. And he's brought down. We're following the play now. They're going to stop the clock here as a man is shaken up. While the medical staff checks on him, we'll step aside in this week one contest. Might we see our first touchdown of the game? Here's first and goal. On the option left, Richardson. And he will fight his way into the end zone for a touchdown. Anthony Richardson with his first career touchdown in his first career game. And the Bisons have even the ball game with a chance to take the lead here in the final minute of this third quarter. Matt Gay on for the extra point. And he's one for one on the new year as his kick is good. So that drive in total eight plays. And it was Anthony Richardson who took it into the end zone to finish things off. And they'll bring it out to the 25 as Agnew elects for the touchback. On first down, Lawrence. A short throw there to Strange. And he'll be upended at the 28-yard line. Just a three-yard gain there. Here's second and seven now from the 28. Lawrence. And got his man complete. And he will be taken down with a big pickup there on what's going to be the final play of the third quarter. We are through three quarters here on NFL Kickoff Weekend. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. Just week one, but already plenty of intrigue with the games going on, and this one no different as we come up on a first and ten. And he gets forward up the middle, but only for a couple. It'll be second down. Well, any lane that might have been open there was closed pretty quickly, and that was because the defensive front, they won that battle at the point of attack at the line of scrimmage. They used great leverage, held their spot, and stacked him up. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Let's make this one simple. What a catch, especially the finishing part of getting his feet in bounds, toe-tapping, 
And of course, foot dragging. A little tapestry, if you will. Oh, I like it. So five yards here, five on the play. And that will bring up second down. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. You're tackling almost on the spot. That means you have to run extra plays, harder to move it. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. They'll bring a receiver in motion left. And he is going to lose yardage here. A loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. And yet again, this run game just continues to be completely shut off. Completely stymied. I mean, they're trying to get some consistency, trying to find places to roam. They just haven't been there throughout this game. The second down attempt there, knocked down as it leaves the quarterback's hand, and it's incomplete. Ninth play of the drive coming up, and certainly not an easy one on third and long. Running out of the gun with ETN. And not much of a hole there as he gets it down to about the 24-yard line. Just a yard on the run there, and that's going to bring us to a fourth down. Got stopped, would have liked the touchdown, but hey, field goal gives you the lead, and let your defense do the work. The one thing to keep in mind, though, the field goal's not automatic. You've got to make sure you protect your kicker here so you don't have a block, which turns into a big play. But you're exactly right. Kick it, rely on your defense. This is the proper play here in this situation. The kick by McManus is good. And they have taken the lead here in the fourth quarter. So it's another field goal here. He may need to ice his leg after this one. That's now five field goals converted in this game alone. Yeah, get the trainer. They're going to need this guy. And they've needed every single one of the field goals he's made, too. If they're going to get out of here with a win. I say he gets a game ball. McKenzie will not return this, and it will be brought out to the 25. First and ten, it's Richardson. This pass caught, it's Woods. And he gets us to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going out. That goes for a gain of 31. That could very well be a defining play in this game. A touchdown, that gives him the lead, and they took a major step towards getting there with that big play right there. So the big play gets him across midfield now for first and 10. Back to throw. Here's Richardson. Looking for Woods again, and he finds him. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. And they'll employ the jumbo set now on second and one. Now here's a fake on the jet sweep, and it's still to give to Taylor. And he'll work it inside the 30 to the 29 yard line. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. Yeah, once more, strong running. Excellent blocking at the point of attack. Look at that little drive brewing right here. First and 10, Richardson looks to throw it. This is caught. Touchdown! Michael Pittman, 29 yards. And the Bisons have taken a fourth quarter lead. Those are the types of plays in these moments they were hoping for from this young rookie, able to put him up here in the fourth quarter. How about the kid? You just mentioned it, the fourth quarter. This is when you have to make those winning plays. That's what he just did. Doesn't ensure anything, but he certainly gave his team a heck of a chance, didn't he? Extra point by Gay is up and good, and the lead is up to five. After the touchdown, it's Gay to kick this one away. And no return here for Agnew, so they'll bring it out, start the drive at the 25. Boston's offense ready to go again. We certainly have a good one on our hands. They're trailing after that last touchdown, but now a chance for this offense to try to snag that lead right back here in the fourth quarter. Now Lawrence on first down. And that's going to be too high. Out of bounds and incomplete. Had the right idea there, trying to throw it to the sideline, but he led him just a little bit too much, trying to get it out to his receiver. 
Ends up falling to the ground incomplete. Second and ten. Here's Lawrence again. Throwing middle, but it's incomplete. A couple of quick incompletions, and now they're just one more away from getting off the field. They've got options now. Could they dial up a blitz here or just drop everyone into coverage to crowd the throwing lanes? And it is caught. And they work this well upfield across the 45. A well-executed 22-yard game. And here we are in the fourth quarter, partner, and watch them drive for what would be a go-ahead touchdown. And you and I both know this is where you need a quarterback who can keep his cool back there, not just for himself, but to keep the rest of the team relaxed, too. And to throw again is Lawrence. Oh, you saw that one coming. It's intercepted. Thrown back across his body. And they will set up shop at their own 46-yard line. Partner, I think this will want to arrive very simply because he overestimated his arm strength and his ability to fit it anywhere he wants to. A lot of quarterbacks do that and often pay the price. The OKC offense ready to set up shop again. Another important fourth quarter series coming up. That last INT helping to maintain their slim advantage. Richards into the air on first down. Able to get away. And he'll work it across midfield inside the 45. Give him 10 that time, escaping the danger, running with it, and picking up the first down. Now Richardson. And he'll protect himself at the end here as he winds up getting pretty decent yardage. Nice work to get seven out of that, and it's second down. At the 37-yard line. On the option to give to Taylor here. And this time not quite to the 30. It'll be down at the 31-yard line. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. I like that run right there, partner. Not the flashiest run, not the one that's going to break for big yardage, but he understands the situation. And taking care of the football, paramount. He got it done. Nursing that slim lead, you're exactly right. Hold on to that ball. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Run blitz there defensively, something we might see more of here in the fourth quarter. I think we'll see a lot of it. And the difference between that and a pass blitz, pass blitz, you're just trying to get to the quarterback. You're trying to scheme someone open who will get to the QB and make sure he gets on the ground. In a run blitz, you're actually trying to cover up gaps, trying to cover up hole. And look at this. They get the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. Rayshon Jenkins picks it off. And they are going to take over right there at the 22-yard line. That's not one that he's going to want to remember, but he had to get it out of the way at some point, his first career interception. And if he's the guy that they think he is, he's not lapping it off, but he's also not going to let it affect him as the game proceeds. He's going to go back out there, still be the same confident kid, the reason that they drafted him, and go out and play. Now ETM to start the drive. And he'll get this to the 24, and it's second down. And the trend continues here in the fourth like it was in the first, second, and third. He's had nowhere to run. And you're probably thinking to yourself, why do they keep feeding him the football? Well, they trust him first and foremost. They do believe that over time, he might actually pop one of these runs. But the bottom line is, he takes care of the ball well for them, so they keep handing it to him. A yard in the wrong direction makes third down tougher. Third down and nine. They'll come to the line here needing nine yards to pick up the first. On third down, Lawrence. He'll get this out to the flat for ETM. And he will be marked down short of the first as they get to him at the 29. Five yards, not enough. And it'll be fourth down. Here's Logan Cook now as he's on a punt for the first time this afternoon. Seven yard punt, a return of four. The OKC offense ready to set up shop again. Right now, clinging to a one score lead, Charles, and I think operating within that four minute offense with a little less than four minutes to go applies here, right? It certainly does, and that means the playbook is still wide open. But you are a little bit more careful about what you're calling. You want plays 
They're going to gain yardage. How would you say it? Consistently. Mm -hmm. right? You don't need the big shots downfield. But make sure the clock continues to run. Pile up the first down. And the goal? End the game with your quarterback kneeling down at the end. And you still have the lead. The big play to start him out. Has him at the 45 already. They go play action with Richardson. And his throw here is incomplete. But he certainly thought he had a window to push that ball downfield, but as soon as he released the throw, the corner was there to slam that window shut. On second down, it's Richardson to throw it. His pass left side to Downs. So a nice throw there, and CD, I, I have to think you've been impressed with what you've seen thus far here in his debut. Now you know me well, I have been impressed because what I've seen is him starting to understand how to play the game in a short amount of time. The dazzling plays, they'll come if with experience, but right now we're seeing him handle the game, make all the smart plays, and the right reads. And now right out of the two-minute break, we'll get a timeout used defensively with a minute 56 to go. Five points of contact necessary at this stage as they'll run on first down. Now a second timeout called for by the defense. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. Another run on second down, trying to cover up. And he is going to have a first down here. And that should be the one that seals a victory. And they'll indeed take a knee. on second down. And they've got it in the red zone now, down at about the 19. A little do-it-yourself run right there in a nice game. And I like that he knew that that was about all he was going to get. So he did a nice job of protecting himself, took care of the football, took what the defense gave him. If they continue to allow him to do that, they'll find their way taking what they can all the way to the end zone. And just how they envision the start of the season, kneeling it down, defense can't stop the clock. This one's a winner. You know it's really strange? I think a lot of people think that the kneel down practice stuff really only happens like one time a week. The best teams I know, they practice starting back in OTAs. They want them to visualize winning a game and how great that feels, and they got it done in this one. Yep, and knee gets them to 1-0. Well, this was not just the opener of a brand new season, but this was a division game here in week one. And to come through with a 1-0 start against a division opponent gives you a little something extra heading forward for the rest of the season. Yeah, let's pile it all into one game, right? Opening the season and you open within the division, you knew the motivation was going to be there on both sidelines. One just executed better and earned the win. So for Oklahoma City, that'll be a happy locker room as they start this season 1-0. And they will hit the road next week. Meanwhile, for Austin, they obviously fall to 0-1 with the defeat. And they'll get a chance to redeem themselves at home next week. That'll do it for us. I'm Brandon Gordon, alongside Charles Davis. Thanks to our entire crew as well. We'll talk to you next time. So long, everybody.